A story begins in the special town. The adventure begins where our school can be found. Inside the classrooms, the students were told that during the year, amazing magic would unfold. Not a single child knew what this magic could be. The teacher told the kids, "Work hard and you see. You can do it. Try your best." All of the students, these rainbow of stars, didn't know they were getting visitors from very, very far. So let us all travel. So let us all fly to a beautiful rainbow high up in the sky. Inside the rainbow, small creatures hide. The vowels and consonants living on opposite sides. The consonants were confident and had their own song. The vowels worked double time. They could sound short or sound long. Hey, it's that time of year again. Line up. It's time to meet the vowels so we can visit the school. Gee, that school's name has a lot of us consonants in it. I see that. Ha <laughs> ha. Get it? See? Anyway, we better get on our journey. We have magic to do. Well, we can't do it by ourselves. We need to meet our friends, the vowels. Ah. A on our way. E E come with me. E I ready to fly. O、oh, O、oh, here we go. U、uh, U we got lots to do. The continents climbed to the rainbow's top, waiting for the owls to come to the spot. They all got together and started to blend owls and continents, such very good friends. In different groups, their sounds could be heard. Consonants and vowels making new words. Wait, you forgot me. Oh, oh my. my! You are a vowel sometimes. Come on, join us. Why? The letter slid down, falling like rain, sharing these words in all the kids' brains. Then words became sentences. It was so exciting. The kids at the school were reading and writing. The magic was happening, and the magic still churning. All the kids in the school happy and learning. So come hear our stories. You'll agree they're the best. This digital storybook reflects our reading and writing success. America is a mosaic of cultures. Our class story is about their journey to start a new life in America. They left their homes and families. They left for a better life of freedom. They took everything they owned. They took their dishes, clothes, and photos. Some people took chickens and cows. They came by different ways of transportation. They came by boat. They came by planes. They had to go to Ellis Island first. They had to have their papers checked by the inspectors. They had to be checked by doctors and nurses. The boat passed the Statue of Liberty. They knew the Statue of Liberty was a symbol of freedom. They had to build houses. They had to build towns. They had to build schools. They had to learn to speak English. They came to America for a better life. They came to America for freedom. We are all Americans. We live in the land of the free. In our class, we learned all about the symbols of America. They all stand for the freedom we all enjoy. The first symbol is the American flag. Did you know the American flag is sometimes called Allegory by Michael? Did you know the flag stands for Victory by Luca? Did you know Abe Lincoln, George Washington, Teddy Roosevelt, Thomas Jefferson are on Mount Rushmore by Brian? Did you know? Teddy Roosevelt preserved land for national parks by Mac. 
A third symbol is our nation's bird, the American bald eagle. Did you know the bald eagle has a seven-foot wingspan? By Chloe. Did you know the bald eagle has sharp talons? By Frankie. Did you know the bald eagle is protected? By Kaden. A statue of liberty has welcomed immigrants to America for over two hundred years. Did you know the Statue of Liberty is made of copper by Nicholas? Did you know the Statue of Liberty was given to America by France by TJ? Did you know the Statue of Liberty is three hundred and five feet tall by James? Fall by Sindhu. In fall, we turn red, brown, orange, and yellow. I like to rake leaves and put them in a big pile. In summer, I go swimming at my house with my brother. It is fun to play baseball and soccer. By Finn. Summer by Dylan. I love summer because I go to the park and I play in the seesaw. I also go to Florida and go in a big pool. Winter by Mackenzie. In the winter, my family has snowball fights. I play against my mom and dad. We go against each other. Winter by Ellen. In the winter, the trees have no leaves and the snow is falling. It's too cold for me to go outside. Spring by Brandon. People get to play outside in the spring. You could also pick flowers for a friend. Fall by me. I love fall. The leaves are so pretty, and I play soccer. Spring by Stefano. Spring is great because I can go outside and play with my sister. I also love to go to the playground. Spring by Francesco. I like spring because it's sunny, and I could go outside with my family. Summer by Giuseppe. I like summer because I can play outside in my backyard. Fall by my uncle. In fall, I like to jump in the leaves. I go trick or treating in fall. Spring by Natalia. Spring is the best because I can go outside and play in my treehouse with my sisters. I want to plant our garden too. Winter by Frankie. In winter, I play in the snow. I also build a snowman. Fall by Joey. I think fall is fun because I can jump in the leaves. Summer by Porco. I am going to the beach with my family this summer. I like to build a sandcastle with my sister. Summer by Yarrow. I love summer because I get to go to the zoo with my mom. It is fun to go to the park with my whole family. Fall by Aiden. I like fall because I can make a big pile of leaves and jump in the leaves. The leaves are red, orange, brown, and crunchy. Winter by Alyssa. Winter is fun. I like to have snowball fights with Gabby and Andre. Summer by Abinov. Summer is fun. I like to play at the park with my friend. We play tag and go down the slide. The vowels and consonants went back in the sky. They laughed and they giggled as they said their goodbyes. Goodbye, Goodbye. Later. Later. All the kids at the school are proud of the progress we've made. We are prepared and ready to head to first grade.